Oh, here we go. Take these out. It's my uh, status of, um, audio, whatever they call it, between the it's uh, earbuds that are very good, actually. I think they're supposed to be the best. I always end up getting the best technology available either before it comes out, as it comes out, or before everybody gets hip to it. And now I'm trying to find the case for it. Uh, I can't. In fact, uh, everybody's getting the, the conductivity uh, things right now. I see nice cases there. Uh, the, the bone conduct, conduct, whatever, that bone stuff. And so I wrote the company because every once in a while they touch, they give me some survey with this thing. So I said, hey, when you going to be doing, when you going to get hip? When you going to be da 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 They gave me a regular corporate answer first. And then they said something else. I sent them another note, right? Then they said, well, look, hey, as soon as it happens, we're going to be da 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 they, they, they got to the thing. So now I'm going to write them. What am I going to do? I'm going to... I don't know what I'm going to do with them, but uh, I got to wait and I'm going to be patient because they asked me twice and I want to do the third time. Hey, I just got in for a long walk as usual. This morning, oh, this morning I went to that, uh, this, this out in, in the Rockaways, there's a, a memorial to, you know, 9-11 by fire people. So I went and, uh, went there, I reported it to you on Instagram, but, uh, and then I, I, it was hot today. Anyway, I, well, what I did was I went to sleep. I'm, I'm, I'm doing my little, my little concoction of my uh, almond, cashew, and macadamia nut beverage, right? So I pour a little bit of that in there, just a bit. Right? Then what I do is I get the pure coconut water. <laughs> my drink when I come from a long walk. I'm going to be uh, cooking dinner soon, and I'll tell you what it is. Why? Because I like to tell you everything, right? Um, the second. Basically, I walk to Prospect Park all the time. I just, this morning, I was at that memorial, and then I was going to do the beach, but then I just, anyway, I ended up at that memorial thing. Um, Quite, in, I got some information from the people that, that uh, from the parks people that changed the, the, the flowers there and stuff like that. Hmm. It's on my, is it on my Instagram? It's on something. Yeah, it's on my Instagram. Something like that. Um, and then, but I, uh, I came back. I forgot I was doing stuff here, and then I, I took an afternoon nap. I usually only took a nap for an hour, right? And nap for about an hour and a half, I think, this time. Anyway, so that that was good. But then I realized, um, hey, let me let me walk because I ain't did my long walk, right? So I'm gonna walk to Prospect Park. But I, I didn't think of anything, you know. What I mean, I was I, I didn't want to spend no money. Well, huh, huh. Good luck with that. Anyway, but oh, I gotta tell you this. Okay, a friend of mine gifted me a, like a, a bud of, of herb. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not really a big smoker or whatever. In fact, when I get back to South Africa, which is abundant, I'm actually going to be using it as a tea, you know, because it's cheaper there. You know, I'm using it as a tea. I don't really know. The smoke thing, people don't realize, hey, whatever you smoke, doesn't matter if you're vaping, smoking, or whatever, have it, it's affecting your lungs. And then vaping, I don't know, because you can taste the metal in there. But here's the funny thing. He gifted me that over the weekend. I ain't did nothing with it. You know, I think, I think there was a little stogie, a little roach, and I tasted that. It's very good, you know what I mean? But eh, I'm really not into it. I use it to go to sleep or something like that. In fact, that's what I used to use it for, just to go to sleep because I'm so hyper. Oh, I'm a good four hours of sleep at night. Think about it. I'm just hyper all the time. But then my friend came and he gave me, look at this. It's uh, edible. It's supposed to be cookies. I guess uh, I'm really not a really big whatever thing. But anyway, so sometime I'll be munching on that or at least taste it. Or oh, maybe when I go up, maybe I'm going to the thing this weekend, um, to the uh, 100 Years of Mingus. Maybe I'll take that you know, part of that with me, you know, indulge, enjoy the music it's all day, you know. But, but when he gave me the, 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 um, the bud, I didn't have no papers, and I wasn't going to buy no papers, right? 
So when I walked out today to go to the Pet Prospect Park thing, guess what was lying on the ground a little ways down the road? In the road, because I walk, I don't really say, well, I try to avoid the sidewalks, because, you know, here in Brooklyn, they, you know, the trees, been you know. So I went, and on the road, look what was on the road. Just there, laying on the road. <laughs> I don't know. It must mean something. I have no idea. So I just... And this is my usual thing. Thank God. Praise the Lord for you. Right? Every time something good happens, or it, whatever happens, significant, whatever it is, good, bad, or indifferent, I always say, thank God. Praise the Lord for you. Right? And so, I came on my walk. So maybe tonight, because I took a real long afternoon, I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know how to deal today. But then, here's what happened. I walked down, and I, I, um, I have, have a friend meet me at... at Prospect Park, right? So there's a train station, but they didn't have to know what it was. It was the exit. They didn't have what the train station was. Then they said, oh, go to Parkside Avenue. Wherever. So I walked across the Parkside Avenue to make sure Parkside, yeah, Parkside, whatever, the Parkside stop on the Q train. And um, since I was there, I checked my card, you know, because now I, I have to take the bus to go to the to Reese Beach in the morning, you know what I mean? It's half price because I'm seeing citizen, right? But um, and I have I have enough to sort of go, but I don't. I like to have a little buffer, right? So usually I put like twenty dollars on, but I said no, I'll put eleven dollars on. It'll last me, hopefully. All right, wherever well, I gotta go, cause whatever it is. But then when I came out the train station, I ran into I'll, I'll post it on Instagram. I posted this, the picture, right? I ran into this brother, and I've seen him there not a long time ago. I remember seeing this guy. He says whatever he sells. Basically, this is a um. Purple, what's the name? Uh, you know, the gel, the the purple, the thing, the 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 the, 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 the herb, the uh, with all the minerals in it and all that stuff. You know, the sea moss. <laughs> Seems like I need it. <laughs> sea moss. So I got the purple sea moss. Now I had sea moss and I bought it from this guy. This guy's just doing sea moss in Cape Town, but you know you can't just carry it every place. It should be refrigerated. And so I left it there with, uh, you know, with Ian, hopefully they're using it, right? So here's how I take it. In the morning, uh, when I take my blood pressure pill, but I hope, you know, after I go through the Yaki protocol, I won't be able to, won't have to deal with that anymore. But I take like a, where's my, uh, I have a special spoon that I got from uh, Thich Nhat Hanh. Just a second. I got it here in the thing because the watch is all the time. Wait, where's my spoon? Oh, here it is. Left in the so I got this from Thich Nhat Hanh. Oh, Thich Nhat Hanh, uh, peace and blessings on his eternal soul. He passed recently. So I got this from the tic, from the monastery up there, the Blue Ridge up there in New York. You know, my sister, you know, I was hanging out with for a second. Now, we're not nothing intimate. We just, well, it's, well it's whatever. Um, so I take the, like maybe half of the, well, take, take the, a dip of this in the morning. Uh, and like alone, right? But you should take it with food. So what I'm going to start doing, I'll take, I still take my little thing in the morning because I get up very early and before I go out. I want to do this, but I try to get back by 11 or so because, mm, because in midday, I want to um, I use the sea moss and put it in my my fruit. My fruit, I, I eat fruit. I, I eat my water in the morning, so I eat my fruit. And more, so I'm gonna put it with that, and then like now, when I, after I finish, when I do my cooking, whatever it is, I'll take a, a spoon to, just to start off with. But speaking about fruit, so the brother was there, and you know what I got? It's the first time I'm doing this. I think I had good dragon fruit long time in India, so I got a dragon fruit. I'm gonna have tomorrow morning. Wow! So I bought that dragon fruit, and so and and I'm, I'm, my avocados are done. I got a mango for the fruit tomorrow, but these avocados is going to take about two days, maybe three days to ripen. I have a plan that I might be able to ripen them sooner because there's a, a, a thing we use for use for the compost. It's like a container of them, ripe bananas. So I might put the avocado like in a thing and just put it in that thing and then, you know, see if it takes only a day and pull it out, see if it ripens. I don't know. I experiment all the time. Why? 
like I say, I'm my own petri dish. That's all I can tell you, right? So so that's gonna be good. I get two 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 dragon fruit for five dollars. I mean, you know, they're getting expensive. Oh, it was a Ukrainian guy who was sent it. Then a Ukrainian guy was I think they they have some deal with the Ukrainians that's that that got uh, transported here, whatever have you, where they're doing the the, the things that the Mexicans used to do with the with the big fruit thing. I guess the Mexicans still do it. The fruit thing. So there's going to be a lot of fruit and uh, vegetable people on the street in New York selling it. So that's what's happening. Oh, and tonight I'm uh, I'm gonna take the lentils, the the black lentils that I uh, just a second. I really like this. Hmm. Refreshing. Hey, coconut water is all refreshing in my little army wear. But I got my leftover black lentils. You know, so I grew to say you shouldn't eat left. I'm I'm eating my leftover lentils. You know. So I'm, my leftover lentils, I'm put a little bit of this um, squash I have left that I used at the time. And I'm going to use a radio refrigerator now. Some bok choy. I have to think about maybe two of these bok choy. I have some bok choy. And oh, here's the big thing. When I went to the market on on Sunday, I had gotten this, this called uh, lion's mane mushroom. So I'm going to have this mushroom. With that, and then this is that 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 something hen mushroom. So I'm gonna have those two mushrooms, and in the freezer down there, I took it out. They have a, a a salmon burger thingy. Hey, it's food. I gotta nourish myself. So I do that. So I'm gonna make that tonight. And what else do I have over there? Uh, I think that there's something else I'm gonna put in this stuff. I forget what it is. Oh, garlic, of course, more garlic. Anyway, I'm gonna have a nice meal tonight. I'm about uh. Uh, I'm eating late because, well, just because. So I'll probably start messing with it about 15 minutes so it'll be ready by uh, quarter to nine or so. So that's it. I'm giving you an update. You know, should I do tomato? Nah. Uh, anyway, that's it. I'm going to find some other stuff to eat too. Well, maybe not. All right? So I'll check you all later. Just a little, you know, uh, update for my day. Update from me, T, from the Pattersons, taking the train to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect.